Okay, Psalms 47. To the chief musician, a song for the sons of Korah. This psalm is all about the king. Second advent in the millennium. Clap your hands, all the people. All the people, not just the Jewish people, not just the heathen, all the people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. And at the end of the seven years, the tribulation, three and a half years, the great tribulation, when Jesus Christ comes, those Jews are going to be rejoicing. They're going to be excited. It's going to be a relief. For the Lord Most High is terrible. And that don't mean he's rotten. That means he inspires terror. I mean, after what the world will see, what Jesus does when he comes back in the horse and this fire coming out of his mouth and just his enemies just burning up. Man, that's going to that's gonna bring fear. And can you imagine the sheep nations where God takes the goats? You're gone. You're off in hell. And those sheep nations are like, why are we? Remember, they don't know. They helped the Jews, and they have no idea, according to what Jesus, they're over there like, why did he spare us? And he says, listen, you visited me in prison, you took care of me, I was sick. And, and they're like, well, when did we do this, Lord? I mean, we just watched you wipe out, I don't know what, most, the Bible says, many of the population in the world. And you're, you're putting this accusation on us, when did we do this, Lord? He is a great capital king over all the earth. Notice again, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, capital K in king, that's Jesus. Capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, that's Jehovah. Jehovah's Jesus, Jesus, Jehovah. I'm not going to pick on the Jehovah Witnesses. I'm not going to mention them. They're wrong. Plain and simple. Second advent, he shall subdue the people under us. That would be the Jewish people. Those people that were against. And nations under our feet. And those are the people that helped them. And they don't even know they helped them. The Jewish people. He, God, shall choose our inheritance for us. That's the land. And that land has already been divided in Ezekiel. The excellency of Jacob, Israel, whom he loved. Who does God love? He loves America. No, he don't. He loves the nation of Israel. You see, Americans, you know, we're just, we're just one nation under God. God's got to love us. You're full of baloney. You're full of it. Many Americans will go into hell. Many Jewish people go into hell when they reject the Messiah, Jesus. But when it comes to play out all through eternity, from, from the seed of Abraham to Isaac and all the way through, the nation of Israel is God's people. Jesus is coming back on horse, not for, the, not for the bride, not for the church. We're behind him, literally. We're coming back to get that remnant of the Jews that survived the tribulation period. Selah. Again, that's a musical rest. It's also has some kind of second advent passage within two or three verses of that word. God is going up with a shout. The Lord with a shout of the trumpet. Now, there's a trump. I don't mean Donald Trump. There's a trump at the rapture. It don't say trumpet. The rapture of the church is a trump. The trumpet was designed for the children of Israel, and there were sil two silver trumpets that were to be blown at different times of the Jewish, at the feast days. At, hey, you know, need to be alert, or to call in the assembly. You got to go back to the Old Testament and find out about those two silver trumpets, because there it is. That ain't the church. At the sound of the last trump. The dead in Christ shall rise. You can't get your Bible mixed up. Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not, not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's not the church age. So evidently, when the Lord comes back for the Jewish people, the second advent, there's some kind of trumpet. 
I mean, it's like people say, you know, the rainbow is the symbol that God set in the sky for Noah. It does not ever say rainbow. It says bow. And if you're a King James Bible believing centered Christian and you say rainbow, you are quoting from a modern Bible. Go back and read it. It says bow. The only rainbow you read in, in the Bible is in the book of Revelation. There's a rainbow around the throne of God and it's green emerald. Like Dorothy going to the Emerald City. You gotta get your Bible right, people. You can't just go in there, Whoa, look at what I found. Because what you found does not agree with the Bible. You are wrong. You are going to stand a charge of false witnessing. You better start calling it a bow, not a rainbow. Go check it out. Right, you know what? Let's go. Genesis. Cause I, I, you know what? You know why I'm going to go over there? Because I know you're not going to go look it up. You're too lazy. You're too lazy to go look it up. So, let's see. Chapter 9, Genesis. Do a little extra study here. And verse 14. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow, B-O-W, King James, shall be seen in the cloud. Verse 16, and the bow, B-O-W, shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every, he doesn't say rainbow. You King James Bible believer got to get back in the King James Bible and get out of the modern Bible. I just read it to you. Modern Bible say rainbow. I quote from only the King James. What was it in, in the time? It was a rainbow. You're wrong. You're wrong. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises. I think you get the point. Sing praises. Unto our king, capital K-I-N-G. That don't mean this, this this music they come out today, contemporary, where you can sing the song and you can... Sing it to your girlfriend, and she went, "Oh, that's, just, that's so sweet." You can sing it to your boyfriend. Oh, that's so. And it has no mention. Of, you know, it's supposed to be about Jesus, but it's so generalized. And it's amazing when you look at the hymns that the churches sing today, even the great hymns. How many times the name Jesus does not appear? Why? There is no other name given amongst heaven that, whereby we must be saved, and you can't even find it in the hymns. It's ridiculous. Amazing grace has no Jesus to be found. That's why the world sings it. There's no salvation. There's no Jesus at all. That's why they That's why they play it for military funerals, all that. Because it don't offend nobody. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Man, you, you get two-page dropping off. You get Catholics falling down on the ground. You get the Jehovah Witnesses all upset. You get the atheists. Oh, we got we to get, you know, we can't have that song. Hey, I'm doing a whole study on, on uh, the biblical truth of our hymns. Get a hold of that. Look it up. My eyes have seen the coming of the Lord. No, you didn't. You saw the northern army to set you free. So you can go live in ghettos up north. I know I live up north. Stop lying. Liars will have their part in the lake of fire that burns forever, the Bible says. Thing praise in our king. Mention Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The sweetest name I know. Sing praises. I think you got the point in verse 6. Sing praises. For God is the K. Oh, oh, look at that. God is the K, capital K. There is God and there is Jesus together. God is Jesus. Jesus is God. Kick the Jehovah Witnesses off your property. Don't wish them good day. Don't wish them Godspeed. I wish you guys would fall down. Tell them. I tell them you go have a rotten day. I hope nobody opens doors for you. I even follow a couple of them to my neighbor's house. That's how you get them out of your neighborhood, by the way. You want to get the Jehovah Witnesses out? You get your Bible and you start walking with them to your neighbor's house. I had one time they did that and they, they walked over to the car, getting in the car. I said, okay, where's, where are we going? 
Well, you come with us, we're going to call the cops. Well, whoa. That's twice the Jehovah Witnesses threatened to call the cops on me. I don't call the cops on you. For God is the king of all the earth. Now, is that right now? Did not Satan tell Jesus, I will give you all the kingdoms of the earth and you fall down and worship me? And Jesus said, listen, Satan, let me tell you something. You are not the king of all this. I No, he didn't say that. He says, no. The ruling party of the earth right now is the devil has been given by God. All the nations are under the devil right now. Those, there are only a few nations that will speak in the honor of God and Jesus Christ. Very few. America is not one of them. Though you think that John, Donald Trump is, a, is the fourth member of the Trinity. I saw today, somebody put the, the picture of Donald Trump. Donald Trump saved America. Okay, and you save America and let you go to hell. And someone told me, well, you know, nobody worships Donald Trump as God if he saved America. While I'm preaching Jesus Christ and the gospel to save unsaved Americans. I know, I know that I already know one person's already mad at me right now for hearing if he listens to this. I don't care. I don't care. There are no Republicans and Democrats in heaven. Only those that are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ by those that preach the gospel. God loves the feet of a preacher, not of a voter. Ooh, I got people mad on that one. We're in political thing. We're talking about a kingdom, a king. Actually, to have a fact is to have a president is against the Bible because the only president you find in the Bible is in the book of Daniel and presidents are of Babylon. Oh, look at all the religion that comes out of Babylon, mystery Babylon. I better shut up. For God is the king of all the earth. That second advent, that's millennium. Singing praises, have you got it? With understanding. That rules out the contemporary Christian music. They have no understanding who they're singing about. When you pick up a hymn book, and you got a, a hymn from written by Fanny Crosby, Or you got a hymn written about, uh, oh, no, I forgot his name, Charles Wesley. You know who you're singing about, and you know what you're singing about, and many others. You know. You have understanding what that hymn is about. I already mentioned a couple of hymns. It could be anything. Listen, if the world loves that hymn, it ain't no good. If the world, when Jesus said, marvel not the world love you. I mean, oh, that's not what it said. It says, marvel not the world hates you. If the world loves your form of Christianity, you don't have Christianity. You have worldlyism. And you need to change. God reigneth over the heathen. <laughs> that's not today. So let me ask you a question again. Who is going to reign in Jerusalem over the Jewish people and over the, 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 the heathen? Uh, Jesus. Uh, Pilate said the king of the Jews. Uh, Revelation 19 says king of the kings and lord of the lords. Uh, Gabriel told Mary that she will have a baby that will sit on the throne of David. God reigneth over the heathen. That God is Jesus, that Jesus is God. God sits upon the throne of his holiness. The princes and the people are gathered together, not the United Nations. The princes. There were princes of the children of Israel. All throughout the, the Old Testament. Even the people of God of Abraham. That's the Jewish people, right out right. So the princes of the people, that's the heathen. They're going to be people of the heathen. They're going to be the people of the seed of Abraham coming together. And you read about that in the, in the prophets, that they're going, the, the, the heathen are going to grab hold of the Jewish person and say, hey, come on, we want to go with you because we know that that God is your God. Come on, take me. One of the minor prophets. <laughs> 
the God of Abraham. That's the God. You don't have the God of Abraham. You don't have the God of the, the Bible. For the shields of the earth, and I believe our warfare, our weaponry, it's called the shield of faith. For the shield, all right, let's take it with our weapon. The shield of faith of the earth belongs unto God. You know what faith belongs unto? It belongs unto God. Well, I got faith in the stock market. It's collapsing like crazy. I got, I got faith in the medical system. It's collapsing amazingly. I got faith in the president. And leave me alone, Styling. He's going to collapse. If the Lord tarries, every president, every vice president, every, every man will end up in the grave because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. For the shields of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. No one is exalted but God. Now, let's go back to chapter 46, what we did last night. And let's look at verse 9, when we talk about the shield. <clears throat> 46, 9. He maketh wars and seas to the end of the earth. Here comes a king that brings in worldwide peace. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear asunder. He burneth the chariot with fire. There is no need for army and armament. Under the king of Jesus, God, in Jerusalem, with the Jewish people now in their homeland, that God has said, this is your land, that's your land, children of Israel, it's yours. Come, come at the feast appointed, come to see Jesus and David and the priests working in the tabernacle, the temple. You don't have to worry about warfare. That's going to happen a thousand years after the millennium is up. The devil's going to get a group of people together and God's going to say, you're dead. They won't. That's it. That's that's the end of the World War Four. Going to be at least two World World Wars coming. The Bible says. Maybe more. Rumors of wars. <clears throat>